Brothers and sisters, I'm terribly sorry, but there seems to have been a bit of a technical hitch over at the rectory with the Facebook programme. I don't know if so many people are seeking to worship God in this way um, that it seems to have crashed over the rectory. So I'm going to be um, continuing on and saying Mass with you this morning. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And now we give you thanks, because for our salvation he was obedient even to death on the cross. The tree of shame was made the tree of glory, and where life was lost, there life has been restored. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear son. On the night before he died he had supper with his friends and taking bread he praised you. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup, again he praised you and gave it to them and said, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life. Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break. 
this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee, bless me now, dear Saviour, I call to thee, I need Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you humbled yourself in taking the form of a servant and in obedience died on the cross for our salvation. Give us the mind to follow you and to proclaim you as Lord and King to the glory of God the Father. Amen. We are blessed that you have joined us today from wherever you are. I hope that you manage to make your palm crosses or palm leaves and I hope that you've stuck them on your door to let the world know that Jesus is making his triumphal entry and he is calling us
to join with him on that journey, the pilgrimage of the heart, as Bishop Michael so aptly writes. Each day this week, we will continue to have services as we mark Holy Week and go to and through the cross to Easter. So tomorrow I will be uh, here again at 10 o'clock for morning prayer with an excerpt from a book by Brian Thorne, lay canon of Norwich Cathedral, called Behold the Man. And then at 7 o'clock each evening this week, Father Nicholas will be joining you from the rectory. So would you please now bow your heads for God's blessing. Christ crucified, draw you to himself to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest upon each one of you, all those you love, and all those for whom you pray, this day and evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.